A gravel path of equal width is to be built around an 8 foot by 8 foot square garden. How wide can the path be if there's enough gravel for 80 square feet? First thing I'm going to do for this problem is to draw a picture because I think a picture can help us make sense of what's going on here. So I'm first going to draw a square to represent our garden that we're told is 8 foot by 8 foot. Now I'm going to draw another square to represent the pathway around the garden. The unknown here is the width of the path, so I'm going to go ahead and label the width of the path as being x. Now let's talk about the area of this whole figure. If we look at the length of the figure, notice that the length can be represented by the length of the garden, which is 8, and then the width of the garden on each side and we've let x equal the width of the garden. So the length of this whole thing, this whole length, can be um, represented by 8 plus x plus x to represent the width of the path on both sides. And that simplifies to 8 plus 2x. Now let's look at the width of this whole figure. And it's kind of the same idea. The width of the whole figure is equal to the width of the garden, which is 8 plus the width of the path on one side, which is x, plus the width of the path on the other side, which is x. Again, that boils down to 8 plus 2x. <coughs> now, in the original problem, we're being told how, um, we're being told that we have 80, um, we have enough gravel for 80 square feet. Now, gravel is a covering, and anytime you're talking about covering, um, a certain area, you're actually talking about the measure of area. And as we know, area, the formula for area is length times width. So that's going to be an important formula for us to solve this problem. Notice that the equation or the idea that we can use to set up the equation for this problem and to solve this problem is that if we take the total area and we subtract the area of the garden, the result is the area of the path. So let's look at that again. If I take the total area and I take out the area of the garden, I'm left with the area around, which is the area of the path. It's kind of like a big donut, so we're after the donut. If we take the, the whole um, piece of dough and we take out the hole in the middle, we're left with that kind of donut shape. Well, it's a square donut, but you get the idea. <laughs> so how can we represent the total area? Well, if area equals length times width, and looking at the total um, diagram here, the length is 8 plus 2x, and the width is 8 plus 2x. Area being length times width will give us 8 plus 2x times 8 plus 2x, the length times the width. How can we represent the area of the garden? Well, if the garden measures 8 by 8, then the area being length times width implies that the area of the garden is 8 times 8, length times width. And then the area of the path is actually given in the original problem. Since we're told that we have enough gravel to cover 80 square feet, that implies that the area of the path is going to be, um, oh, sorry about that, is going to be 80. Okay, let's simplify this equation a little bit and make it a little bit nicer. This is the equation that we can solve to actually find the answer to the problem. And so this simplifies to 8 plus 2x squared minus 64 equals 80. And since this unit addresses the idea of solving a quadratic equation using square roots, we're going to go ahead and apply that method to this equation. So the first step is to isolate the um, item that is squared. So we're going to do that by adding 64 to both sides, which gives us 8 plus 2x squared equals 144. Now that we have isolated the squared item, we're going to square root both sides. Remember, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square cancel each other out leaving us with 8 plus 2x. 
And remember, any time you square root both sides of an equation, you want to take the positive and minus root. So we're um, left with the positive or negative root of square root of 144, which simplifies to positive or negative 12. And this kind of takes us onto two paths then. We have two equations to solve. 8 plus 2x equals 12, and 8 plus 2x equals the negative root, negative 12. And now we need to just solve these two simple equations. So I'll go ahead and start with this one over here on the left. Subtract 8 from both sides, and we're left with 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, and our solution for this equation is 2. And on the left um, equation here, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. I'm left with 2x equals negative 20. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me x equals negative 10. So we have two possible solutions for this situation, and the question now becomes which is the true solution. Remember that we allowed x to be the width of the pathway in the original problem. So using that knowledge and coming back down here to our two solutions, one of them doesn't make any sense, and it's x equaling negative 10. The width of anything cannot be a negative measure. So we can cross out the solution of negative 10, which implies that our solution is x equal 2. And so the width of the garden path is two feet.